So what's up, foodie family? Another day, we are on our way to Discovery Cove, and the line just got about 35 deep, and it was already about 20 on there, and another 35 just got on in less than 17 seconds. We're about to have some fun. Talk to you soon, foodie family. Peace. check-in it's the check-in process at discovery cove it's moving pretty fast right now foodie family can't wait to check in and just start having some fun talk to you soon so we're on our way to breakfast right now all you can eat Today, as you can see, we are in Discovery Cove. So excited. We have a sea venture, all day, all inclusive, all you can eat, all you can drink package. Stay tuned. Peace. Hello, good morning, ma'am. Can I have some cheese eggs, please? Some potatoes. We may share. Thank you. Happy birthday. Okay, for it And we are here, foodie family. Just a quick look at what the breakfast looks like at Discovery Cove. We have some parfait, French toast sticks, chicken tenders, cheese eggs, potato sausage chocolate chip muffin and some OJ and we are back foodie family we are about to go into the lazy river as you can see I'm geared up because I don't play that the boy is going in with just a noodle he's more adventurous than I am it's not open yet what time it opens Okay, so we're a little early, but we got all day. Look at the wildlife. I don't want to get too close. Did one of these things start pecking me? I'm not playing. I got the life vest. I got them green sticks that you use to float on in the water. We fully prepared to have a good time, foodie family. This is our second time at Discovery Cove, and we love it. We'll talk to you soon. Peace. Back again, foodie family. We just came from the underwater sea venture. Sorry I couldn't take my phone. 
tells me this tells me I have to invest in a GoPro. But uh, I have my phone in an underwater aqua case, but I still didn't want to risk it. We are in the Lazy River now, which has parts that goes eight to 12 feet deep, foodie family. I am in the Lazy River now, as you can see. This is the part where we can walk, but as you can see, I'm fully prepared. Stay tuned. As you can see, foodie fam, change in water depth, eight feet. When you put your head under and look, it don't look like no eight feet. It look like it's about 12. Sudden water level change, here we go. Oh, oh, here we go. Floating on y'all. It's okay. Now we're walking through again, Fulton fam. Can't mess up the Gucci's. Still on the lazy river, and I'm super duper geared up. I got on everything. Oh. I got a haircut somewhere. I got my boy in the front. He don't got no life vest on. I got on everything though. I got a noodle on, I got a vest on. I think I want another noodle. But it's well worth it. Had some technical difficulties with so many floating devices on. I was staying, I was stuck in one spot. A stranger had to give me a lift. But it's all good. This shit dumb deep, foodie fam. Mm -hmm. Can I touch down there? I don't even know where my son is. Don't know where he is. What happened? Take it too long? If you go ahead, just wait for me at the open area. He's trying to bounce on me, y'all. Back again, we by the waterfall right now. We just hanging out. And this is a different type of lazy river, foodie family. I got my boy, he right here chilling. This lazy river is different. It has drop-offs of about eight to 12 feet. They say eight, but when you look underwater, it seems much deeper than that. Again, we are in the Discovery Cove. Let's go underwater and see what we see.
got. Walk here. Yeah, foodie family. This place is awesome. When the bar open, I'm going to hit up the bar, go get some lunch, and just drink and eat and enjoy next few days we have here but discovery cove is it foodie family it's the top food guy with all the gear and i'm here if it ain't the crack sign it's the wax sign talk to you soon peace so what's up foodie family i'm online to indulge in some beer and some wine some frozen drinks some mixed drinks Hang tight and I'll show you what they looking like. Stay tuned. Peace. Thank you. You doing it up, foodie family. Thanks again, Raul. So foodie family with all my gear. I'm drinking a frozen margarita. And I went in and got a Budweiser too. You know my mom will be proud. See you soon. Peace. And here, foodie family, is the Aloha Sunrise. Just skip the line. There's two lines, beer and wine and premium drinks. You know, I just walked through like I knew I was supposed to be there and I got it. Shout out to the both Raouls at the bar. So foodie family, as you can see, I just changed out of my wetsuit because I don't think I'm doing any more uh, premium adventures for the day besides doing the underwater scuba or snuba as some may call it. But you see me with the snorkeling gear, I'm about to go snorkeling. My son already, he's already in the water. You know, I'm walking 20 miles in soft sand. I'm not as young as I used to be, but I'll make it. Talk to you soon. As you can see, foodie family, this is where you swim with the dolphins. They seem to be taking a break right now. You hear the baby talking about they see the dolphins? I don't got my glasses on, so I can't focus on them. But they somewhere back there, they do a lot, so you got to give them their time to relax so that they don't trip out on your ass, you know? But this is a great place. It's a little expensive, but the money goes to upkeep and feeding and taking care of the animals. You know, and you got to pay the work as well, the lifeguards, and all the workers you see back there. But this place is awesome, foodie family. You can go and pet the dolphins. You can go have the dolphins push you. You can go have the dolphins. They go some back there right now. You can have them kiss you. You can do a lot. Let's go snorkeling. And this foodie family is where you go snorkeling. There go my son over there. You just bent down. I was about to say the tallest person in the water. But this is where you come and do family snorkeling, foodie family. If you have little children, ooh, the water is cold. I've been out the water so long. But if you have little ones, they can wade here. As you're going to see in a couple of seconds, you're going to see stingrays. You're going to see fish. You're going to see little man-made reefs. Over there is where we just came from doing the sea venture at 930 I gotta get a GoPro to take it on the uh, journey the next time, but I'm gonna show you guys some photos of uh, of what we did. Blake! I changed. Yeah, foodie fam. Let's go see what we can get into. This water is ice cold. 
the lazy river seemed heated. This well, well, the lazy river didn't have any fish in there. But otherwise, you can see the fish here, foodie family. Did you guys just see that? I'm not even under the water yet. Let's go back again. Family, there goes another manta ray. This is perhaps some of the best snorkeling I've ever done. As you can see, there are some deep drop-offs. There's some walking spots, and then out of nowhere, it may go down 12 to 16 to some spots 20 feet deep. The snorkeling experience is one to remember. You feel like you're a professional diver, 
they make this experience so authentic to know that this is man-made discovery cove did a great job That was awesome. That was awesome, 40 family. That was good. Whoa. Now, just to give you a little perspective on how deep it is, Look at the feet to the bottom of the floor in the water. It's about 20 feet deep. Here's my son next to me. This guy is a real fish in the water. He loves it. You'll be seeing more of him. That's cool. Let's go over that way. Let's walk and then I need you to tell me if it gets deep or not. What's up, foodie family? Just to let you know where we at. We on the side of a little man-made cliff right now. Water's about maybe 10 to 12 feet deep, maybe deeper than that. I don't want to think about it.
Yeah, something that big is swimming with you. Think that's a horseshoe ray or a tar heel ray. What they may call it. I think that thing is a I know, robot. I know y'all saw that. My son thinks it's a robot. No, it's a fish. No, because they keep coming in the same direction. It's real, Blake. Look at the beautiful coral they set up here. This place is amazing, foodie family. What kind of fish is that? That big one. It looks like a big shark. It's called a shrevel nose ray. A, sh a shrevel nose? Yeah. That, that, that is a shovel nose ray. One it's of the called a tar fish. Or, or also known as a tar fish. I'm getting lessons and I'm giving you guys lessons, foodie family. And it's recording. That's a Okay, foodie family, we're about to try to make our way to the shallow area over there where those people are. Let's see if we can make it happen without making the lifeguard do any work. <laughs> All right. Blake. So it almost was a traffic accident. I almost crashed into the little kid. She was fine. I'm, I made it, foodie family. I made it. I made it. Your boy is a top food guy and an Aquaman. Yes, foodie family, kids were actually diving down to the bottom, touching that thing. Well, if you ever heard of Jacques Cousteau, foodie family, call me Block Cousteau. That was a whack joke, but I know. I, could, I couldn't resist. So what's up, foodie family? We just came from snorkeling. And how was it? It was, it was awesome. This is the second time we've been to Discovery Cove, and I think this time we're having the best time. Because we was in the deep end. 
Now, when I'm in the lazy river, I got my noodle on. I got my vest on. Actually, I got two or three noodles. But river water compared to salt water, you realize when you're in salt water, you're more buoyant and you float easier. So as long as I can breathe, I do my thing in the water a little bit, foodie fan. This kid is a fish, you know? But the old man ain't too bad himself. We're on our way to go get some food now, foodie family, and we're gonna show you what they have to offer. You know the motto, stay tuned. Let me get the peace. Peace. What's up, foodie family? We back for our all you can eat lunch in Discovery Cove. About to show you what they got to offer. How you doing? Can I have a burger? Okay. A cheeseburger? Okay. And I, can I get some, uh, uh, you got fries? Yes, we do. Cheeseburger and fries. Can I get some salmon and um, vegetables? Yes. So, just salmon and then the veggie on the plate? And potatoes. That's, can you put a little steak on there too, man? Thank you. That's great. You got french fries? Yeah, you want some? Please. Good? Yes, ma'am. There you go. The burger's also mine. Yeah, no, 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 no fries. I got enough. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we went in, foodie family. Not. Not much money I paid to get in here. I'm gonna get the chocolate cake. Me and my son is gonna split this burger. I got steak and salmon. I got a Caesar salad. I got some anti-pasta. I see a lot of people looking, but I'm gonna eat. And this foodie family is the aviary where you can feed birds of all kinds. And they just come right up to you. Here's my son feeding a bird now. What a pleasant experience. So now we're back in the water. I couldn't get enough of the beach area in Discovery Cove. And again, just a perspective on how deep you actually, or it actually can be. Next time we come back, I will have my underwater GoPro so I can use that to take you on the sea venture, which is the underwater scuba or snuba dive.
Thank you, man. After my time so at the beach, family, we're about I even to get went to go get some barbecue, barbecue chicken, chicken pizza. Now, this is not the no world's famous pizza. Can you dig it? But you do get purple onions and some peppers and barbecue chicken. It wasn't bad for me. With a Budweiser, we go find my boy and give him a slice. So I had to end it with some shots of me and my son taking plunges into the pool. So, foodie family, ultimately, our time here at the Grove Resort was a good one. Yesterday at Discovery Cove, we had a blast. Couldn't ask for a better time at a better place. It was just totally awesome. And every time I visit the Orlando region, me and my family shall return to Discovery Cove. We had food, drink. We had a great time snorkeling. We did underwater scuba diving or snuba diving, or they refer to it as the Sea Venture Foodie Family. Now you can see I'm ending our vacation in the hot tub. What more can I ask for? Until next time, Foodie Family. Peace.